<laughs> yeah, I just made it back in. Why is it so fucking co cold outside? Like, literally, when I went out there... Why well, I left out the house? What time is it? I left at the out the house at maybe, like, 9.30. It was snow on my windows. So, I mean, it had been... It, like, snow a, a little bit. Because it was up on your windows. It wasn't, like, where it stuck to the ground or nothing. But it was on your window. So it's like it's slightly snow. It's cold as fuck out there. Y'all, y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me that these folks is not cutting up up this motherfucking making it colder so the immigrants can hurry up and get they they, they shelter because why the fuck is this that cold? I, I'm pretty sure if you send your baby out there for some trick or treating shit. You need to ask what now. You need to be what what I'm on, okay? I normally know I've been stopped sending my kids trick and treat maybe like three years ago, for real. Because I just started literally just buying them um their own trick or treat bags, like just buying them trick or treat bags and filling up it up with candy. And my kids they getting bigger, but I still got a 10, 11, and sixteen year old. They still like treats and shit. So I went out to go do the same shit today. Feel it, feel it. They bag so with trick or treats. Um, I didn't do so much candy, but I did enough candy. You know, I didn't go overboard because they just need to lose weight. Um, uh, what else? We're gonna do movie night. I bought some movies, some 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 scary movies, the classics. I definitely um got some of them because we're gonna do movie night. I'm gonna set the front room up, you know, um theater third theater style. But I also start cooking. I'm cooking today too. Because today I really don't feel like Halloween. Like I really, I bought me a little costume, but I don't even feel like I'm. I'm not a bad like the, you know, I'm in the mood for like cook, cooking and cleaning and doing a movie theater. I, 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 okay, I might do it. I know I'm doing. I'm not I'm doing because I'm. A, I'm. I'm gonna set the tone for the night. I'm gonna set the tone. I'm. Even though I'm not in the mood, I'm gonna get in the mood as I start getting this sh getting shit done. And once I start like putting up all my food and cleaning up the house, it's gonna be a good day, okay? But I don't know. It's like this weather. It's like Lord, why the fuck is it so fucking cold out there? It's like it shouldn't be that cold out there. Or maybe it's me. I don't know. I'm I'm a, I'm a uh, anemic too so i don't fucking know if no nah, it's cold out there it's cold out there because there was many people saying the same shit with me while i was out there just now like fuck we all said the same shit like why the fuck it go from night to day like you can't tell me because like y'all seen how that 50 weather was now 50 weather that's like pretty good weather i know i love 50s and 60s i know how this shit go but it's like they making these fifties weather way colder than what the fuck it's supposed to be. Like somebody lying, Craig. Like somebody fucking lying. Like they saying the weather yesterday was fifty something. But did you see how it felt yesterday? It wasn't no fifty something. It was like literally up in the twenties. That's why it, they had cut that shit up. Not not up, but they was cutting that bitch down low key and trying to say it's still up in the fifties and shit. Y'all, this this world, I don't um. Uh, this shit is a whole, all this shit is a fucking illusion. I'm just trying to, I'm starting to see this shit more and more on a daily basis that we are being fucking lied to. <laughs> on a daily basis, like, ain't none of this shit real. Like, dead ass, ain't none of this shit real. Like, the illusions that they be trying to tell us, nigga, I've been born for 38 years. I know my weather. I know my motherfucking weather, Jack. And the shit that, that y'all trying to pull right now, it's like they trying to make it colder than what it is. Because y'all know them immigrants, they need housing and shit. So they been, listen, the manipulation is real. The fucking mind manipulation. So they're like, we got to hurry up and put these people up in houses. We got to, you know, these people up in tents. Which I'm not going uh, uh, against that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not that fucking heartless. You feel me? I'm just saying, stop coming y'all asses out here because there really ain't enough room for y'all. I'm just being honest up on that motherfucker note. But I wouldn't dare want to want to see kids getting freeze to fucking death. I'm cold my damn self with a coat in the in motherfucking boots. So I can feel I feel sorry for them damn babies. But it's like they making it more urgent to, you know, do what what they have to do. 
they make it more urgent to do what they got to do and, you know, set this stuff up in stone, set it up in motion. You know what I'm saying? Because that was not adding up. The two and two wasn't adding up. And I'm like, yesterday, I was so tempted to cut up on my motherfucking heat. I'm like, I'm going to cut my heat on my kids talking about they still be, feel decent. But I was cold in the sun, bitch, yesterday. I was fucking freezing. I was freezing my ass off, okay? I was freezing. So, I don't know. I'm going to start cleaning up, start my food, because I'm definitely cooking today, babe. I got a taste for some steak, rice, and, like, mixed vegetables. Ooh, a bum bum. I can't wait to that shit. That's why I'm going to start cooking it now so it can be done by, like, Five o'clock at at the latest. This is it's gonna be done earlier earlier than that, but more than like it's gonna be done. If I start now, it's gonna be done by like three o'clock. But we, I know we, we're not gonna eat until probably like four or five. Yeah, so I'm gonna go set this up, set up the movie theater, set up their little bags, and like that's what to be our day. Like nobody going trick or treat. I'm trying to get myself up in the mood to put up on my costumes because y'all know Halloween is like my favorite holiday. And not being no demonic way, because I know people be like, if you, if you like Halloween, you're like worshiping the devil. You are the devil. It's like, no, bitch. I love Halloween. I love dressing up. I love the season of the witch. You know what I'm saying? During this time, Halloween is full of evil, demonic ass spirits too. You know what I'm saying? But it was also the season of the witch of like us tapping it in, into our essence um you know different races pay homage to the dead up on this day um but it's also be a lot of um demonic shit that's happening up on halloween a lot of you know real life demonic shit but once i started getting older and really like tapping into my essence of like I, I don't really go out up on no damn halloween it used to be fun like going out up on halloween because to costumes party because you used to get you used to, to actually party like my sister birthday is like the first week of uh, november so she'll always have like throw halloween parties and them bitches you used to be john man everybody they mama 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 used to be there okay so we used to be lit so it's like just it's just a season and a time that we are fucking in like that is like they take the fun out of everything because now you got to worry about shit going to a party and you might not make it back you see what just happened to um skin bone um party but y'all know how i be feeling like with people who up on like certain ways and Certain fame, everybody is, is is not like that. You know, some people still got morals. They get it from the ground up. No no sacrifices, no nothing. But I be telling y'all, I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all over and, and over and over a fucking again. Y'all do not be wanting to listen to me. I ain't going nowhere near, that, Jack. I don't give a fuck. When I see celebrities, it used to be like when you see celebrities, you might get starstruck. You might, okay, I want to be near it. I want to be around it. And these seasons, it's not like that. It's like you fuck around, go around a, a, a celebrity or, or somebody who's trying to reach new levels, your ass fuck around and get sacrifices because they doing blood ritual sacrifices like crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's not even hidden no more. The shit not even hidden no more. It's like you almost like it's like they already know like that's what they got to do to get ahead. And, and it's like these people have accepted that shit. You know they have took them blood oath. They have accepted it. If they want to get some type of TV show, some type of higher ranking, these people are going to sacrifice your ass. That mass shooting that just happened, but I told y'all that's what they did with this mass shooting that was by my house. I'm I'm in the suburbs, mass shooting. Come on now, get the fuck up out of here. That shit, they put one celebrity up in that bitch that was hosting it. You get what I'm saying? And everybody ran with it, ran their asses up there. I had already had the in energy, but I told y'all, if you look back a bit up, in, up on my videos just for these past few days, I said, now, Skin Bone Party was up on Pulaski and 13th. 
they actually they all actually stay like literally up in the like up on the same blocks as my sister you know what i'm saying it's just that uh my sister house wind up getting up catch, catching on fire so so she don't stay up around there but she still moved back around there and shit now my daddy had came to me like angry as hell and i had a dream and sometimes it don't be her but it could be like her son who probably you know because when people be hearing and hearing and hearing like 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 about celebrities and you know hood famous ass motherfuckers they take their asses up there so that spirit was it was up on me and i had a dream about it you know what i'm saying that something bad had happened then my daddy had came to me so like that day like that night i told y'all i was so drained but the spirit was up on me so heavy you get what i'm saying to take my ass to that altar and go pray so i just started praying for like my family members everyone just around me i just started praying for them praying for them praying for them i'm like tomorrow i been out here no crazy shit because that is how it, it happens like every motherfucking time some shit like that happen it be like some like when the spirit be up on me after i do my um chance i always found out something bad happened but it's like it it it, it, it be like something bad happened but it didn't hit home you get what i'm saying like like it might have could have hit home if i didn't do them chants you get what I'm saying? It might have, could have hit home. You get what I'm saying? Something bad could have happened. But that's why the spirits allow you, you to see things because you can't reverse things, especially when you got that anointing up on them and you're a vessel and you're obedient to the spirit. Spirit, You can't reverse situations. Like, trust me, I've seen that many, many, many motherfucking times before some, some shit that was meant to de destroy a motherfucker time i did my chance it like literally reversed the whole situation where it was bad but it didn't hit home or it was bad but it could have been way 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 fucking major like literally protect the motherfucking energy so i'm like i knew it i was like i knew it, but then i heard about that i'm like that's some weird ass shit that's some weird ass shit that's why I don't go to shit that these motherfuckers. If it be a motherfucker, no, I'm not going, baby. I'm not going. It it just depends upon the energy of it. Like, why would you have it up in that neighborhood? They talking about well, it wasn't no gang members, it wasn't no gang banging, it wasn't nothing. But you know, if you have it up in that neighborhood, it's easy for a motherfucker to have access to spray this motherfucker. As far as if you were to have it been in somewhere nice, a nice venue or something, they not going to do that type of shit because they know them peoples is around. You feel me? Where up in the hood, they can up and spray that shit easily, expeditiously, and get the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? At one sum up in the fucking morning. Come on now. That's the hood. Ain't nobody, ain't no police patrolling that motherfucker like that. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Pulaski in 13. Now, y'all know 13 is sacrifice. The whole, just the whole movement, buddy, was 50. That's sacrifice. But I keep telling y'all, every time you see something done up on a 13 or a 4, that's literally the sacrifice numbers. Like, if you were to go look back in 21, it's a sacrifice number. A lot of times they be dead at the age of 21 or something about 21. 21 be real significant, but 13 is definitely sacrifice numbers. Sacrifice numbers. Sacrifice numbers. 13 also means spiritual too. It's like you got a lot of angel numbers, but these demonic spirits has has tapped into these numbers and they use it for bad. Like even these 11, 11s, I'm starting to see. By like watching this low down, like they be using eleven eleven as a sacrifice number, and you know that that's like a wish fulfilled. My gay mate, thirteen up in angel numbers, rapper represent love, but you know demonics do everything the opposite of those numbers. Like eleven eleven is a gateway, so they use that gateway to do demonic ass shit. Thirteen in angel numbers is love, but they use it to, to do the opposite death. You know what I'm saying? Or or is it a thirteen or a four? Cause three, I mean one plus three is four, so they do it up on the square. 
and the square is the magic number to um tap in into magic okay you can it's, it's all about the person who got the genie like you can tap into it for the good or the bad a lot of these motherfuckers is tapping into this shit even like 666 666 is not no mother motherfucking bad number it, it represents the brain the right hemisphere the left hemisphere in in your um pioneer gland 666 but they use 666 as conscious as because when 666 when you using all three that become um six plus six huh what you need some tissue Trina, come and get us some tissue. No. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my baby some tissue. Why you ain't called James? James got all that damn tissue up in the club. He is not sweet. He just had me take the garbage truck. I mean, he just had me bring the groceries in. I need to start cooking my food. You welcome. You welcome, Miss Shitty Booty. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. Right. Mm. So they use that as something demonic, and when you woke in conscious, ain't none of the shit demonic, but these fucking sorcerers. These high level ass sorcerers, Freemasons motherfuckers, they don't talk these motherfuckers how to tap into this shit demonically to use blood as sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you give blood, it's like you rise, it's like you giving a sacrifice to the spirits. You praising them spirits and the spirits is able to manifest like that's your offering. Okay? And so and these people have learned how to use this energy up in a demonic way okay so anybody who be hungry for that shit they can't be around me i'm dead ass like this motherfucking world like people be in that's why they literally try to box me in or don't want me to elevate don't want me to grow or you see they they even been stopped putting me through the algorithm you hear what I'm saying? Because of a lot of shit that I be saying, the not of shit I know, and and they be wanting you to fold, they be wanting you to cave in. You know how many stars used to be up on my ass to get me to join them, to get me to be a part of them, which I'm still is gonna be a part of the system, but I'm right, I'm waiting for my the right trap because everybody who is evolving is not up in their energy, so don't think everybody who got some sort of fame or some type of um notary that they all is a part of the illuminati they all do sacrifices some people literally just work their asses off um rock bottom on up you know what i'm saying and some you would know the ones because these motherfuckers around them they get the damn like flash they get the dropping baby they get the dying like fucking flies and this sacrifice gets so so deep it come in all aspects like it, it like you can see that shit up in hollywood now you see this shit just up in your everyday life how many motherfuckers you know sacrificing motherfuckers who's who's trying to get to the top they, don't, they ain't nobody they don't even got a name they got a private a look a little algorithm a little name they trying to sacrifice anything to be known to become big too and then it'd be crazy because these people they it's 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 not like they fame be lasting for so long it's like they get like this five minute of fame but they'll do anything and then it's like they feel like they got off with that shit but the mental half these motherfuckers who be doing this shit see how these motherfuckers doing five and ten years from now they be mentally fucked up, man, because they know what the, what they had to do to get that five minutes of fame. And once that shit gone, that shit be eating their asses up ten years and five years from now. These motherfuckers don't be a be. That's why 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 you be seeing these motherfuckers that be snapping and shit. 
such and such these celebrities that be that snapping such and such this motherfucker just went a while now this motherfucker mentally know what the fuck they did to get shit you feel me these motherfuckers have to get fucked in the ass all type of real shit you know what i'm saying promote all this for boring ass shit i mean i don't got nothing against gays or the lbg community but y'all not fit to put that shit off upon my kids i'm just being honest and you can't knock me from coming from a family like that so family is okay i i haven't seen a gay person up in my motherfucking family you know what i'm saying i wasn't raised like that i wasn't raised with like for being like like beauty ass man and shit like that you know what i'm saying maybe these maybe my cousins now because they now you know what i'm saying caught up in this new way way order this younger generation you feel me but i'm talking about like the old cousins like my age and up you ain't saying that maybe from our younger cousins the younger generations that's you know what i'm saying <laughs> they already been programmed for the shit you feel me but my grandmama didn't play, play like that that was a sin you know what i'm saying they try to force this shit up on you they try to force this shit up on your kids because they know when you is okay like it's like everything needs some type of structure some type of boundary some type of something you feel me that's why you got these mans fucking up on these little boys. Like, how many pastors you keep hearing, like, you just heard about this new pastor. Just, like, fucking up on a fucking 15-year-old boy. You keep hearing about these nasty-ass pastors fucking up on these boys. Man, these mans getting sick. They trying to project this shit up on you. These pastors be so motherfucking weird. That's why I do not be following the word of these motherfuckers. You feel me? That's why I'm not a motherfucking church motherfucker. You can't get me to go into one of the motherfuckers. You can't get me to go outside myself. I used to be very religious, very into church, very all that shit. I woke the fuck up. Stop being led by these motherfuckers who got these evil fucking deceptive ass worlds. Half of these motherfuckers be pimps, old addicts, all type of shit. Talking about some they heal, but they still be dibbling, dabbling in them worlds. Everybody is not a prophet. Everybody is not anointed. Everybody is not chosen. And that like them church is just a modern way of getting money. Everything is a business nowadays. Ain't nobody doing this shit because it's really a calling or really just like they chosen to do this shit. These motherfuckers ain't fit to sacrifice shit. Y'all got to show me a motherfucker who ain't got shit but still out there doing God's work. Preaching, I'm um, preaching the gossip. Them the motherfuckers I want to listen to. The motherfuckers who ain't getting nothing up there in return. The motherfuckers ain't doing shit for notoriety, nothing for fame, but still speaking speaking the gospel. I want to hear them because that means that you really out there being um God's army because you ain't doing that shit for nothing. So you know that got to be real. You know you 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 chosen. That's an anointing upon you. Period. Y'all gotta wake up, man. Y'all gotta wake up to the fuckery of this motherfucking world and be okay with it. Be, be, oh, 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 I mean, have peace with it. Because a lot of this shit will drive you crazy. This shit gonna come up in your family members. This shit gonna come in people you know. That sacrifice, that sacrifice shit get real up on a whole nother level. And don't let you have some type of motion. They'll plant a seed up in someone close to you. You think that, I keep telling y'all, you think they plant a seed up in an op or a motherfucking enemy to come and knock you out? No, they're going to plant it to your left hand man. Your fairy cousin. A sister, a brother. You got to have motherfuckers around you just real solid. And it's rare to have a real solid motherfucker around you. A motherfucker who don't give a fuck about that little money that they're giving them. You know what I'm saying? Work out real morals and integrity. Ain't fit to sacrifice their, their self. Ain't fit to sacrifice their morals. Ain't fit to sacrifice shit. They stand up on principle. You know what I'm saying? It's rather find that. Because everybody doing something for something. Everybody doing something for a little bit of nothing. And half of the times, you know, these people be up on drugs. You feel me? 
they even though that they are modern day crackheads they look they these motherfuckers still are functioning actors they dress flat they regular motherfuckers but they got hard fucking addictions whether you want to acknowledge it or not maybe you just think that this person just like the party and dibble and dabble but these motherfuckers be having real motherfucking addictions in the right price at the right time sound really motherfucking awesome <laughs> you might need to hear that again the right price at the right motherfucking time sound really motherfucking awesome money is the rule of all evil but money is money also make the motherfucking world go around so shit we need it but somebody some people need it so bad that that they'll do the most wicked things to get it to manifest it. money ain't shit but energy money ain't shit but energy things gonna always move when you over overstand it you don't have to have no money you still gonna make shit move once you realize this energy you still gonna manifest everything you want y'all gotta stay woke though y'all gotta stay woke to to this shit because this shit get real this shit get this shit get heavy y'all it get real heavy out here it get it it gets so real it gets so real it'll make you lose your mind once you be woke to it once you get exposed to how this world really is how people really is it'll make you lose your mind make you lose your insanity for a minute Whew. I say all the time. I I hey, I could have lost my I lost I could have lost my man a long time ago. It was God's grace that kept kept me, baby. Cause at at one point I did lose it, goddamn it. I lost it. I ain't gonna even last to you, baby. I had to smoke, drink, and everything to deal with the shit that I had seen or and got exposed to and experienced. That shit fucked me up. It still I in in in. A lot of that shit still stick with you. The reason why I'm I be up in so much ice isolation, the reason why I'm so distant from like people, the reason why I see things how I see it, cause the shit I had to experience. It was like I got woke to the real shit, but I'm happy for that because it 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 gave me discernment. It gave now you can't pull shit over me. You know what I'm saying? I was naive up in those seasons. I I I didn't even have the mindset to even understand that people operate like that. Your family could operate like that. A friend could. Op I didn't even have the capacity to even understand such things that this world can be so wicked. You know, I was very a naive person. I always had got taken advantage of. I'm still is a very giving person, but I don't get taken advantage of. Whatever I, I give, I know, I know I'm not going to get that back. So nothing is ever a loss to me. Whatever I'm giving to someone is not no one giving, like thinking that they get it over up on me or some, some shit like that. I'm, I'm already mentally, you know, I might not receive this energy back, whether, whether this is energy of being what I'm giving you or energy that is money. I'm already knowing because I know how 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 people is, and every time they they are every time they do the shit. I'm I'm still very loving. I'm still I I still got those characters. But at one point I was very hard, but now God is starting to open my heart back up to soften it. But now I understand these beings. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? I take nothing personal. So when I give energy in whatever form, I'm already knowing I don't expect this energy back. I actually respect, I, I'm expecting you to do what you're going to do. If, if that makes sense. I'm not putting any um expectations upon the situation now when someone proved me wrong and i actually see someone that's rare you know what i'm saying and th that's when you're gonna know your trap that's when you're gonna know you came across a real one you know what i'm saying because they're gonna do the unexpected it's gonna blow your motherfucking mind back it's gonna blow your mind back you gonna be like wow this 
this like this person is supposed to be here. This person is supposed to be around me. This person is supposed to be up in my presence. You know what I'm saying? And I use this formula with friendships, relationships, people who I'm dealing with. That's why no one stays. People comes and goes with me. No one stays in my energy. People literally comes and goes because they will always show they suck. They will always show they suck. Baby, I'm I'm just playing. I'm just doing my role. I'm just, you know, I'm I got good and in, in intentions, but behind those intentions, I know there's a great chance that you're gonna fuck me over. You're gonna try to fumble the bag. I, I'm knowing this. I'm knowing this. And nine times out of ten, these motherfuckers always do it. Okay? And then it's like, okay, I'm not missing nothing. I take it with a grain of salt. It, what you won't do is get a second chance to cross me. You you cross me once, but I, I would never allow a motherfucker to cross me tr twice. See, in those seasons, God would give me the first warning. I would ignore it due to titles. He'll give me the second warning. I will ignore it due to titles. He'll give me the third warning. I will ignore it. And due to titles until shit really hit the motherfucking fan and a motherfucker tries to destroy you in that shit because when a motherfucker don't like you they don't like you baby and if a motherfucker don't like you they'll fucking run and kill your ass envy and jealousy will make a motherfucker knock your motherfucking wig back and they'll put you up in some predicaments that they know that they fuck around and really fucking harm you okay so y'all need to be mindful of that I pray wherever I go, whoever I with. And now, shit, if I don't feel up to it, I if 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 my energy ain't right about it something or I don't give a fuck how big the event might be, how lit it might be, who all might be there, if I'm getting any type of gut feeling like uh uh I don't go against the motherfucking grain, baby. Because it was many times I felt that motherfucking feeling and went against the grain. And every time I will regret it. I will regret it. I will fucking regret it. Like, damn. I knew a motherfucker was going to be on board shit with me. I, I knew it, but I, I still go. You feel me? Now, such and such, she don't come to nothing no more. She be out of say out of man. I learned lessons, baby. I learned lessons. If a motherfucker that hate you while you wasn't doing so good, how you think a motherfucker gonna feel about you once you end up in your power? What you think?